It was edge of your seat stuff. The Dockers held on in a thriller against Port Adelaide on Sunday. Justin Longmuir joins me now. Justin, what were those last few minutes like in the box? Oh, to be honest, the, the whole last quarter was pretty tense. Um, you know, we played some really good footy up to three-quarter time and then the, the intensity just dropped out of our game and they went to another level. Um, yeah, and it got a little bit tight, but I feel like those sorts of games where we're, we're holding on to a lead, we've been pretty strong the last couple of years. Something our players have been able to do, they've been able to find something when challenged and um, that was another example of it on the weekend. Andy Brayshaw had a couple of great defensive moments late. How crucial is it that your star midfielder also does the ugly stuff? Oh, he was super all day with his defensive acts. Uh, um, he had 11 tackles. Um, and some of those efforts in the last quarter, just to get a fingernail in, were outstanding. Um, and the one that's been well highlighted um, actually resulted in our only goal for the quarter. So, yeah, he was massive in that last quarter. And how about Nathan Wilson? He hasn't played all year. I thought his last few minutes were so important. Multiple crucial acts. Yeah, and they got highlighted in the review today um, by his teammates. Um, yeah, what he's been working on at Peel really stood up. Um, and especially in that last quarter, he had some big moments. Um, yeah, we had to put his body on the line to, to stop Port Adelaide and, and did so really well. So, yeah, really proud of his efforts in his 150th. And we saw two of the best marks of the year. One from your own Hayden Young, one from Port's Mitch Georgiades. Which do you think was better? Oh, it's easy for me to say. Oh, I'm going to back Youngie in. I thought <laughs> his landing was a bit, um, bit more spectacular and... Um, both really good marks from really good young players in the AFL. Yeah, of course you're biased, but it was a good dramatic landing. Now, Matt Taberner's day ended early. How's his hamstring looking? Yeah, got a good result there. Uh, looks like the scan has cleared him of any muscle damage. So, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a relief. Um, yeah, you know, clearly he's got a few boxes to tick because he had some, had some feeling in that hammy. But, um, yeah, we'll put him out to train tomorrow to do a little bit and um, weigh it up later in the week. But, yeah, it's a real positive result. So there is still a chance he could even play against St Kilda? Yeah, he's a chance, yep. Uh, we need to get, see him get through some work tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, um, it's a real positive outcome. And St Kilda got one over you back in round two at home. What did you learn from that game? Oh, a fair bit. Um, yeah, once they get the game on their terms, they're a really good side um, and, and can score really heavily. I think Higgins and King both got a hold of us that day and the midfield, um, yeah, got on top through the middle of the arc. So... Um, yeah, it's going to be a great challenge for us. Um, you know, hopefully we've learnt from that game earlier in the year and um, we can put our best foot forward. The Saints, Saturday night at Marvel Stadium. Justin, good luck. Thanks, Ryan.